developing in the district, a woman's French bulldog stolen Saturday evening. According to Fox 5's reporting, this is the third time since July where French bulldogs were taken in D.C. David Kaplan is live, staying ahead of this one. Good evening, David. Well, Sierra, good evening to you. Tiffany Worthy had a dog named Memphis. She says over the summer, Memphis was one of the 10 dogs that were killed when there was a flooding event at District Dogs, a dog daycare facility in Northeast D.C. Is that what you're doing? She's got good friends. One of them gifted her Hendrix, a French bulldog, that was the dog stolen from her, her second dog lost within the last couple of months. We'll show you some surveillance video in a moment, but Hendrix was stolen around 4 p.m. Saturday from her home on Monroe Street in Northeast D.C. He's about six months old with a brown back and white chest and paws. I'm in disbelief and shock that this happened. Um, I feel, you know, hopeless, you know. Just please bring him back. Please bring him back. Whatever you watch, just please bring it back. Tiffany Worthy is sharing this video, hoping someone has information. She was getting home from a walk and trying to enter the code to get into her building. As that was happening, a car pulls up, man gets out, follows her up the stairs. Worthy said he threatened her life, took Hendrix, drove away. Police described the suspect as five feet, five inches tall, wearing a dark parka, light jeans, and colorful shoes. Worthy says she only walks her dog during the day and keeps her head on a swivel. I've had conversations with loved ones in regards to what to do in these scenarios, and the best thing was to just give my dog away, you know, for my safety. Um, and so that's what I did. Now, D.C. police did give that description of a suspect. As for a vehicle, they believe it was a black Nissan sedan with tinted windows and temporary tags. Now, Worthy is offering a $2,500 reward for any information that is leading to her getting her dog back. She's also, Sierra, started a GoFundMe with the hopes of finding a private investigator to try and help her out. We'll keep you updated on any developments in this case.